डॉक्टर जे एन श्रीवास्तव सर वेलकम सर डॉक्टर तेजाराम सर डॉक्टर सुमिता घोष मैम तो नेक्स्ट वी हैव डॉक्टर सुमिता घोष आई वेलकम डॉक्टर सुमिता घोष डॉक्टर सुमिता घोष मैम इज द एडिशनल कमिश्नर इन चार्ज फॉर चाइल्ड हेल्थ एडोलेसेंट हेल्थ सेफ अबॉर्शन सर्विसेज एंड एस्पिरेशनल डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्रोग्राम एट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया मैम इज अ पीडियट्रिशियन बाय एजुकेशन एंड हैज मोर देन थर्टी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन क्लिनिकल ट्रेनिंग एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इन द गवर्नमेंट she has previously looked after several programs in the family planning uh, program maternal death and surveillance review etc and she is right now heading the child health and adolescent health part of the ministry of health and family welfare so ma'am uh, we welcome you and the floor is all yours dr sumita ghosh please thank you uh, dr vikram uh, uh, very good afternoon to all professor vinod paul the chief guest uh dr peter uh dr raina dr rajesh mehta uh, i can see our uh, all our uh, you know development partners our ministry colleagues and all who are the esteemed panelists who are present here uh thank you for giving me this uh, opportunity to present the mohfw perspective uh in extension of what uh, dr paul has already said i'd start uh, by beginning that equality uh, you know set of attributes which uh, we must conform to the high standards and having uh, several perspectives and ministry has to take care of all of them they are uh, the especially the beneficiary or client perspective the providers perspective and the organizational perspective so the quality uh, remains you know much uh, much of an debatable issue uh, in public system but our efforts are uh, very much on as uh, dr paul has already said uh, india uh, recently uh, has achieved many uh, milestones and uh, few of them i can uh, mention uh, basically they are again uh, mch oriented milestones 80% of deliveries are now presently taking place at institutions uh, for dr raina i can say who, who was telling that you know newborn care was unknown concept few years back uh, we have around 900 uh, essentials and 2400 nbcu is in place so uh, and 1.1 million children sick newborns got uh, managed at this essentiu last year 1920 so uh, this big numbers they speak volumes of the efforts that has gone behind this and the ministry has been all uh, you know all programs in ministry we are looking at you know achieving this kind of uh, coverage immunization again is another uh, program which has uh, covered a lot of grounds but beyond coverage it is as it has already been uh, mentioned in several lectures uh, that it is the quality uh, and that also at the point of care which ultimately decides the outcomes and the major domains uh, are you know continuously being worked upon in the government uh, our national health policy 2017 are uh, the main focus i can tell you are the having universal coverage health system strengthening quality of care care of the highest standard and reduction of cost these are the four major principles of our uh, uh, national health policy while the policy is in place we must have the vehicle to carry it so uh, the you know organizational structure has been uh, you know greatly greatly worked upon and we all be will be knowing that uh, one and a half lakhs of hwcs are coming up very fast and they will cater to around uh, 12 core primary health care objectives then it is it has moved beyond rmncha it has moved into ncd 
elderly care it has moved into mental health at primary level mental health it is uh, you know uh, promotive preventive care so it is a you know a step huge step once this uh, 1 lakh 25000 um, hwcs which are at the sub center and phd level uh, they come up they will cater to a in, increasing the quality to a huge extent even the district hospitals the four the ten uh, um, specialty services are being improved upon through nhm national health mission and of course the medical colleges and sir has mentioned specialty centers centers of excellence all are being supported by our central government efforts and in this journey we have the states with us and the support uh, we get from our development partners they are so many of them are present here they are great and they actually are big driving force behind us uh, once having the you know vehicle in place uh, we we move on to the uh, having the organizational capacity the organizational capacity uh, in terms of hr in terms of uh, infrastructure in terms of um, capacity building in terms of uh, having you know the supplies in place all these are priorities with the government to improve upon the quality then having again uh, the the uh, you know the core capacities in the organization we we need to have proper standards and protocols here all of our partners know that again ministry is working very hard in having guidelines in sops under each program and sub programs so that you know the standard can be set and that can be disseminated that can be uh, you know train the capacity can be built and then again reviewed in time so that there are continuous upgradation of this uh, guidelines and sops uh much has been said that quality cannot be achieved and in such a big country like ours without collaboration our development partners and various stakeholders our states they are all with us together and in all all stages like formulating programs implementation monitoring supportive supervision capacity building so uh everywhere we see collaboration and this uh, today's initiative on having you know community of practice um, that that is going to help us very much in collaborative learning as has been said information again is very much needed uh, information for the patients because no quality can be achieved unless patients are well informed they are they have demands and they uh, you know uh, have awareness and the, they know the rights through the citizen charters so these are again the priority areas uh, information about health management system having the you know online monitoring online entry real time entry of data uh, leveraging the digital technology and having dashboards again for each program and in general so they they are very much in a uh, uh, priority so that the programs are monitored and the quality is um, ensured so uh, various programs are there waste of organization cannot happen without the demand for it uh, so patients demands and you know participation and their uh, in engagement in programs again various novel uh, concepts are have been in, introduced and they are uh, you know family participatory care uh, birth companion uh, you know peer education in adolescent health so you know involvement of the community in service uh, you know having uh, the quality of service uh, improved so these are our efforts various quality assurance mechanism i think there are uh, this there will be discussions in set later part so uh, when i talk about my programs adolescent and, and child health the quality initiatives are essential uh, which has been said harmonization of training uh, various trainings and these all these quality initiatives 
uh, ulti uh, in adolescent health, we are going out uh, with a very new initiative where we are involving the school uh, teachers as ambassadors and you know adolescent health training, education, and you know learning both vertically and horizontally. So um, I would end by saying all efforts are on, and uh, these initiatives will ultimately translate into action only at the service delivery point if the quality is ensured. For a vast country like ours with uh, huge differentials, cultural complexities as already have been mentioned. So continuous engagement is on, uh, efforts are on so that we um, achieve the de desired level of quality and the uh, you know, public uh, and the building trust of pub uh, people in the public system. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sumita Ghosh, ma'am. Uh